Hi everyone, Phil from statisticsmentor.com. Continuing on with our videos on the relationship between variables, in this video we're going to look at the relationship of the t distribution to the standard normal and the chi square. After I do that, we'll consider this question one. All right, the results first. Now I'm going to present it using minimal notation. Say we have two variables. One is a standard normal. The other follows a chi-square distribution with degree of freedom. Let's call that P. Second is that these the variable that is standard normal and the variable that follows the chi-square are independent. Okay, so I've given you two things. One is that we have two variables. One is standard normal, the other is chi-square. Second thing I've given you is that those two variables are independent. Okay, now if we take those two variables and we create a new third variable by taking the normal and dividing it by chi-square over its divided by its degree of freedom and taking the square root of that chi-square over its degree of freedom we have a new variable and this new variable will follow a t distribution where the degree parameter of the t called the degree of freedom matches the one for the chi-square so p Just to say that again take the standard normal, divide it by the square root of a chi-square divided by its respective degree of freedom will be t, where the degree of freedom for the t will match that for the chi-square. Okay, let's put that in the box because that is all we really want to say. That's the result. Okay, let's apply it to this first one. Independent variables x1, x2 follow a standard normal distribution what is the distribution of, and this should read, x1 over square root of x2 squared? x1 over the square root of x2 squared. Now, whenever, this is, we've just got to look for patterns here, and remember as these patterns, we whenever we have something which is a normal on the top divided by the square root of a chi-square on the bottom you should be thinking um, mm, should be a t distribution okay so let's verify that this top here we already said in a question x1 and x2 are both normal x1 is not just normal standard normal there you go this here x2 all squared we've seen previously that standard normal that is squared is a chi-square with one degree of freedom. Okay, it's already beginning to look like this result. So we can kind of look at this, we write this as a standard normal over square root of chi-square 1. Now to make this look ex er, in the same structure as this, got to divide it by the degree of freedom. Degree of freedom here is 1. Uh, this hasn't changed anything because anything divided by that number there, finite number divided by 1 is itself, so that hasn't changed a thing. But it structure of this thing is now same as this. So standard normal over the square root of a chi-square divided by its degree of freedom, which we have here. And the degree of freedom here is 1. So that this thing is t distribution with one degree of freedom. Okay. And that's all I wanted to say about that question one. Now, if this interests you or you need to know it, I'm going to do in the next video question 2a, which is more involved. Um, so let's see how many of you follow me over there.